Well, congratulations. You've obviously got this far. You've managed to log into Brightspace. Uh, you must have seen my welcome video or figured out the information that was in it. So I want to kind of pick up from there. When you log into Brightspace or into my courses in Brightspace or into actually when you're going to log into your Brightspace, it's going to look something like this. Keep in mind, I'm a faculty member. It looks a little bit different. But you notice you're going to have something over here like my courses. And here are the two courses that I teach. There are two sections of this one, three sections of this one, and they are, one of them is criminal justice ethics. The other one's uh, ethical problems of business and society, uh, which is business ethics. Very similar courses. They are, and they are I arranged in an identical way. All the courses that I teach are always arranged in the identical way. So this is going to be a helpful video for you in terms of getting started. So from here, let's go into one of the courses, in particular. Let's go over here to criminal justice ethics. So we'll log into that one. And the one thing that I need to change here is uh, Brightspace now, unlike our older system, allows me to get a view of the course the way you would see it. So and here's what when you came into the course, this is what you would be seeing. OK, and you see at the top we have a well, first of all, Home will get you back to where you logged into Brightspace. So it's a picture of a home, a little icon. Uh, Kingsborough, I'm not sure where that gets you, but gets you nowhere. The, um, the course title will get you into this course. Over here they have, I think it's sometimes called a waffle. I don't know, they have a couple names for this thing. But basically it'll show you all the courses that you have access to in Brightspace. Could be from past semesters. Well, there's not going to be anything from past semester since I'm recording this when we're first implementing Brightspace. Um, you'll have an interface to mail at some point. I don't know if it's running right now. Uh, messaging, you'll be able to message to me, to other people in, in, other people in your class, other students in the class. <clears throat> and now you have an alerts. And then they'll have, you know, whatever your login name over there. The next line, you see, there's a menu, a menu, content, assignments, discussions, quizzes, class progress, grades, group, class list, video assignment. So here you can, what you're going to do is basically you can go into content right from here. The same thing, they give you the same kind of menu that you'll see in content down here. That is, here is a, it says a visual table of uh, <coughs> content widget. That is, you're going to see they have a widget for a module. My modules will be named by the weeks, you know, week two. And here, they'll show you the percentage of a completion that you have done, that you have come uh, into, so you'll know where you have more work to do if you want to get in that way. But let's go into Coward. We can either get to week one through here or by going into content. So let's just go into content because I'd like to show you what it looks like. And when you get into content, so our overview, bookmarks, course schedule is a little different than the course schedule that I talked about in the uh, in the intro in the welcome message, because this is the course schedule where I've set dates for things being due within Brightspace. This will tell you the Brightspace course schedule. Table of contents is what follows, and you see week one, and there are a couple of submodules within week one. Uh, kind of important. I notice I've broken it down into getting started, a moral problem. We'll get started with looking into what a moral problem, oh, sorry, moral dilemma, the, the trolley problem. Get started into, <clears throat> excuse me, seeing what is a moral dilemma and how do you go about solving it. Syllabus is, contains a lot of information about the course, about how the course will operate, what the content of the course, how you're going to get graded, what resources you need, so it'll be in there. And lecture notes, you'll have oftentimes lecture notes, uh, readings, videos. This is where I put general information that you use in the module. Uh, if I'm expecting you to read something, sometimes I'll put it up front. What's a good idea, though, is to take a look at those lecture notes, they're, they're the slides that I use in my videos or even the slides that I use when I make the presentation in class. Because keep in mind, one thing I don't think I mentioned that I should have is this class is both for a section that's in class and for a section that's online. All the courses I now teach have sections working in that way. 
Um, so th the lecture notes will be helpful and everybody will look at it the same way and you'll all participate together. I'll explain that. Okay, now getting started with Cross and Brightspace. You've already seen that one. That was in the, let me go back into the overview. You, you saw what this looked like. I went through this in your welcome message. And here you had what the course is, the welcome message video, a link to the syllabus, which you're going to have to use in this first week. Then there's going to be a video explaining my schedule, the course schedule that I lay out for the semester. It's a one-page schedule, with, which is there that you can download. And um, then I have some recommendations for books, the highlighted ones or the blued uh, ones that are underlined when you hover over them will actually connect you to uh, the site, uh, the Amazon site for this particular for this particular book and for that particular book. Okay, see, so you, but you've gone through the overview, I hope, by now, and now we're getting ready to get started. So we can go right into either week one or getting started. Um, if we go into week one, we'll see that you know it explains a little bit about the uh, what's in week one then you come down that was the welcome the welcome message the welcome video that you've already seen so we're get, jumping into getting started getting started with Brightspace video that's this video that you're seeing at this point that's that's where it is I'm actually recording a different version okay and as you go down you should be clicking on all these. You'll start the video by clicking just on it. Hover the mouse over, say week objectives, video. It explains what we're trying to accomplish in the course of this week. You know, how to use the course schedule, video. We've already, you've already looked at that once. You could skip over that. This is stuff that was in the inv in the overview also. Course schedule and due dates you know about already. And now you're up to the first assignment. So notice the week objectives is new. How to use the course and due dates video. You've seen this already. Um, I hope, or if not, watch it here. Course schedule, it was in the overview. You could see it again here. If you've been through them, great. In fact, I'm thinking I might pull these two out since you can get them at the overview. Okay, now we're to assignment number one, personal information. I ask you to send me a, a message over here. If you click on it, you'll see what it is. Give you instructions. I want you to send. That's where you're going to send the message to, an email message to. Uh, you're going to send it to a Gmail account. And it tells you what the subject is, uh, etc. Something I just noticed I have to fix there. It's not 6,800, it's 6,600. Okay. And you know, it tells, gives you the instructions of what you're going to have to do. And I will just mark this completed based on the information that you send me in the email. Okay, so we're going quick. Did you notice? Uh, let me show you that again. I had gone over to here by clicking on assignment number one, personal information, and now it tells you where we are. It gives you, a, we're in the table of contents, week one, getting started, assignment number one. If we want to go back to get started and, and continue from there, we pick it up from there. Okay, so there's an assignment. Here's a video where I introduce myself. I then ask you to uh, fill out a little bit of a student educational background survey to explain a little bit about your background. This is going to look like a quiz to you, and I just wanted to get you in, in, in fact, a lot of the assignments that are giving you are ensuring that you're able to do all the kinds of things in Brightspace that you need to in order to submit your work in the course. And that doesn't matter if it's in person or if it's online, all the work will be submitted online. And now I have a, a video about success in the course and then it's an assignment, which is a discussion forum. You'll click on that and it'll look something like this to you where um, you're going to go into the topic. 
four of them. I'm gonna. Have, I'm only gonna have one assignment corresponding and one topic with with the same name. So you're gonna go into that, and now it says start a new thread, read the instructions, do it. When you're finished, you know. Well, you already see mine that's, that I posted for you. Okay, so we could go back to discussion list. We can go back to, or actually we can just back our way up using the back arrow here to where we were. And notice at this point, one more, back one more. And we finished all the stuff that was in the getting started module. Next, we can move on to a moral dilemma. Same thing, you're going to work your way down. A moral problem is a seven-minute video. And then there's a discussion that I have. You're going to be using these discussions. In class, I'll give you time to write this up, but you're going to have to go back and submit it online to get credit for it. Uh, and um, I usually, sometimes I will figure out a way of giving you credit for handing in what you did in class and then furthermore get, you, get additional credit for this. But this is going to help you towards what you're going to find out when you look at the syllabus is your participation grade in the course. So you're going to go in there the same way you just did about um, introducing yourself, your, which was at, that was that discussion. This is the discussion and this is the way you're going to see it. Just to remo one more time so you could see it. You click on that. It goes into the discussion. Okay, so you see we're in discussion forum number one, the topic discussion number one. Very, I'm going to have very uh, interesting topics, number one, number two. But here's a description of what it's about. You're going to click again, discussion. So you're going to click on the discussion topic, and it's going to, you're going to ask it, it's going to ask you to start a new new thread. Now, notice start a new thread that you let you do with two places. You must start a thread before you can read or reply to others. Gives you some instructions. These are the way discussions are going to work. So for your for the online people, this is going to be the discussions that you have with your classmates about, um, you know, about the topics that we're talking about. It and it's it'll replace what goes on in the classroom. And that's a lot of well, when you're learning philosophy has to do with having a discussion and discussing other people's point of view and trying to convince them you're right or they're trying to convince you they're right and we're going to do this in this way by the way people in the online and the um uh, the in-person sections of the course or sections of the course are going to interact together in one discussion forum and i, I in general and i'll go over this when i talk about assignments you're, you're expected to not only uh post something and you'll hear about that, or you might have early heard about that during the uh, part of it during um, when you went through the video on the course schedule. But the idea is most of the assignments are going to be due on a Monday. That's when your initial post is going to be due. And if you had a discussion that week, the following Friday, you're going to have by the following Friday, you're going to have to go in and respond to two of your or reply to two of your classmates' postings. And one with which you with which you agree, and one with which you disagree. As you might take the same position, but you might have different reasons, and you might think your reasons are better than theirs. And you'll try to explain that to the person. That okay, so that's that's what the discussion is going to look like. Okay, so now let's use the back button up here in the browser. And by the way, you should notice I'm using a Chrome browser here. It might be a little bit different if you have a Mac and you're using Safari, or if you're using oh God, I don't even know what it's called. Now, let me take a look. Um, let me see if I can find it. I'm looking for the mic. If you wonder, I was looking for the Microsoft version of it. Okay, so let's get back. So there there we went through the trolley dilemma. So you had, you had a video about it. Asked you to uh, watch, watch it. I, I explained a few things about it. And then the rest of the week is going to be spent on the syllabus. So there's the syllabus, and there's going to be <clears throat> downloading the syllabus and uploading to turn it in. It's a video, meaning it's a video lecture. Uh, I'm actually going to be replacing that one since I changed things around a little bit. And then you're going to have to upload it to turn it in, and I'm hoping this will work. Uh, I actually have a 
an email into the help desk because the, right now this is not working properly. I tried it out, but basically you'll click on that and then you will choose the file that you downloaded and you will upload it to turn it in. If you're not sure what turn it is, you're new to everything, turn it in is a play is a, actually has a uh, plagiarism checker that is it makes sure that or it sees how much content you have in content how much content you have in common with other things that they have records of it also tests a little bit about AI you'll hear about some of that later on I think okay and now I have a series of videos it says web page it's busy um, but it's videos about the syllabus about change in requirement from the uh, book that's probably going to go and now I have a, a I have a, a section in the syllabus that talks about grades how the grade in the course is going to be determined and uh, I think just about everybody's concerned about that whether they admit it or not then I'm going to go through what we're going to be covering in the course of our 12 week semester and then a video about the class rules okay and then the final section in here you should take a look at is there's going to be a PDF with the slides that I've used during the course of these presentations and this is the entire you we're going to be seeing part of this video this YouTube video uh, during when we're talking about a moral dilemma the Charlie problem here's the whole thing in case you want to watch it so that's the way you'll be working your way through your assignments will all be due. I'm going to put assignment due dates. So not only will they be on the schedule, but they will come up in, Bla in Blackboard, in Brightspace as well. Okay, well, good luck. And try to get this stuff done early. Don't wait till the last day. And if you can get keep ahead, I'm going to be putting up two weeks of work all the time. Uh, so if you can get ahead, you might want to work ahead. And the first thing you probably want to check all over is really coming for look and coming in the week's uh, modules and take a look where the lecture notes are. Because if you look at the PowerPoints, a lot of it is if you read them first, then listen to the videos or then come to class, you're in a much better position understanding what the problems are that we're discussing. And it, we'll take a quick look at week two, uh, week, week two. I have a section on growth mindset. You'll find out what that is. We're going to go back into the moral dilemma. And let me tell you this. Week one, we're going to give, you're going to give me an initial response at a high level to a certain moral problem. And there are going to be a lot more details. And there are going to be several discussions that you're going to be write, writing in, the, in there about that one. And then we're going to start talking about, since this is a, an entry-level an entry course in philosophy, uh, what philosophy is and you can see it's a kind of an interesting question we'll start that this week and we'll finish it up in week three and as we as we complete week one week three will come out so you'll always be seeing at least two new weeks ahead of you well good luck in the course take it seriously if you just all you have to do is do the work and most people if they can keep up with the work they do okay You'll end up doing very well in the courses, and you'll see the way I do grading, so it will work out. Okay, and there it is, and onward and upward, keep going.